company co-founded by top pickleball professional player Julian Arnold adds another model to their already impressive lineup. Introducing the Mach 2, available in both a 14 and 16 millimeter thickness. The paddle features a non-elongated paddle shape for extra power and a forgiving sweet spot and a raw T700 carbon fiber hitting surface. Players of all levels will find that this paddle offers an invigorating balance of power and feel. I was really excited to see this paddle on my desk as the Volair Mach 1 is my current paddle of choice. And when I first noticed it, I know I don't normally gravitate towards this non-elongated shape, but I'm always willing to give it a shot. And when I first was out on the court, I found that I did have a bit of an adjustment period. Um, I was finding that a lot of my balls were landing really towards the tip of the frame, almost at the very edge, and I wasn't getting a clean shot. So it took about two games for me to really kind of bring that ball down more into the sweet spot. And once I found it down there, it's a really generous sweet spot. Well, unlike you, Britt, I like the shorter length paddles. I like that contact point to be closer to my hand. I like to play a lot of touch and feel shots um, up at the kitchen line. And so with that contact down low, it was right in my sweet spot. Um, and then I've, one thing I did find, because I've been playing the Mach 1 a lot, like you, and that longer paddle gives me a bit more leverage and a bit more pop. Um, and I, I found this one, I was hitting short with it, I was just catching the net tape quite a bit. Didn't notice it so much from the back court because I think tip speed replaced that lack of leverage. But when I was up in the kitchen line, just my, my initial dinks were landing a bit shorter than I wanted. So I had a little bit of adjustment. How about you? Yeah, for me, I actually found that it had a little bit more power than I was expecting, especially compared to that Mach 1. When I brought that ball down into the sweet spot, I found that it was really coming off, especially kind of like you said, on my ground strokes, I was really able to generate that paddle head speed and get that ball nice and deep in the court. It was fairly maneuverable for me as well, so when I approached the net, I could really go after my swinging volleys. And like the previous one, I really liked the spin potential on this. I really felt I could get my wrist around and create some nice angles with topspin and then as well as cutting it underneath and getting some short droppers as well. And for me, when I played the Mark I, I prefer the 16 millimeter thickness, but on this one, the Mark II, I actually prefer the thinner paddle, the 14 millimeter paddle. And I think it just gives me a little bit more pop when I'm up with the, you know, dinking. Um, so I had less of an adjustment. It was an easier paddle for me to transition into. And then I just really liked the feel of it. The more I used the 14 millimeter, the more I liked it. Now I want to go back and hit the 14 millimeter version of the Mark I again, just to see if that translates there. But um, yeah, really fun play test for me. I like the 14 millimeter. I'd probably add a little bit of tungsten tape to the tip, but otherwise it's a pretty perfect paddle for me. Yeah, I was going actually back and forth between the 14 and 16 millimeter. Like you, I preferred the 16 millimeter in the Mach 1, but I was surprised with how much I liked the 14 millimeter, and I actually thought they played pretty similarly. If I was looking for a little bit more power, I might have gravitated for the 14 millimeter for a game, or if I was looking for a little bit more control, I was leaning towards the 16, but I thought they both offered me great feel. And this, I was noticing when I was hitting my um, third shot drops, it's not my strongest shot, but I felt like I was hitting it really consistently with this paddle, so I was really excited. I was getting in my dinks in there, which I'm normally more of a power player, so I felt my nut game was really elevated with this paddle. So I think I like the paddles a little bit more than you, Britt, and I'm actually gonna transition into this Valaire Mark II 14 millimeter as my paddle of choice. For more information on this paddle or anything else pickleball related, be sure to head to totalpickleball.com.